So someone's asking, what exact? Why exactly is J.K. evil? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to get into that. I just because I have friends who are transgendered, so. Um, I'll say this: I don't think that she's evil. I don't think that she's evil. Um, oh, she is evil. No, what she's saying is absolutely evil. Um, she has no fucking idea the effect that she's having on people. Black transgendered women are murdered every fucking year. There are no, there are so many people who are murdered, are raped, and her speech is 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 empowering people who are killing people men and women across the world if she wants to do good she should shut the fuck up if she wants to do good she should shut the fuck up keep her attitudes all to her motherfucking self and if she really wants to do good she should go to the transgender community and say i am so sorry how can i help she's fucking complaining about people you know saying oh jk rowling oh i can't believe you said this stuff she's complaining about fucking be, being cancel culture? Fuck you! Compl fuck you, motherfucker! The, the people are fucking dying, and you're complaining about someone tweeting about you? Fuck you! Uh, I'm sorry. J.K. Rowling can can go to hell, and and I'm I'm being really sort of uh, I'm I'm trying to hold it back, but to that end, um, as a writer and as someone in the public eye, um. You know, I let's talk about this. Let's talk about like, you know, do you keep your opinions to yourself on your Twitter account? Do you keep your opinions to yourself on your, you know, like, like what, what do you think about writers like this thing that's happening with the woman on the Mandalorian, right? Tweeting about, uh, you know, if you're a right wing person, it's just like you're a Jewish person in the Holocaust or whatever. Like, what do you think about cancel culture and and that stuff? What do you think? Well, um, while people have a right to their opinions, other people also have a right to their opinions about your opinions. So when you're out there talking about things, and especially businesses, they have the right to work with you or not. And if people don't want to work with you because they don't agree with what you said, that's their right. So I don't think that she's a bad person. I think she has strong convictions in what she's saying and what she believes right now at this moment. And I think that the, the problem with it is that, um, and I'm not saying that she's not allowed to say what she wants to say, what she has said. The problem with it is that she has such a large platform to say it on is where the danger, that's where the danger lies. Because when you have, like, I guess, a Spider-Man quote, with great power comes great responsibility. And so in or, uh, for her, like, to, to say things, that can be akin to hate speech about a society, about a, a, sec, a section of society that's already marginalized, that's already hated for, that's already, you know, outcast. You, and when you're in that position and you have that, that power to say something that can influence for either the good or the bad, you have to be very careful what you say. Television isn't made for authenticity. I think that that that's what we have to really aim for to make sure that all all palettes, all voices are heard. You know, when it comes to the film and television industry, all stories are told from like the whole gamut of colors that are available. I I find it hard sometimes to to suck in you know suck in my rage and to just be polite about things, but you. I guess you just have to be like if you're hired for the job if you're taking their money then you 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 have to accept what they're giving you well no i'm sure everybody has a line that they everybody should have a line that they're not going to take anymore and that mm -hmm. the money isn't worth your integrity oh, different views than us but for the most part, when you're the showrunner, when you're the writer, when you're the creative in the room, it's important for you to speak up against issues. Um, yeah, and especially hate speech that can affect people in such a fundamental way, can affect their lives, can affect their yeah. safety. I think it's really irresponsible, especially for people with huge platforms, to engage in hate speech. Other than it being morally wrong and corrupt. Yeah.
and is this ev- and is this something that that's going to have repercussions in terms of damaging people's lives? Like you said, Andrew, in terms of like, is it going to cause harm to people in, uh, and their their livelihood, to their actual life? If it's something that's going to impact them negatively, keep it to yourself. Even don't I I would even be 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 as far as to say don't even share it amongst your friends. Don't even say it out loud. Don't even write it in a book. Keep it to yourself because no one can extract that thought from you. But it, it's good. It's good when these things happen because then it exposes who people really are, right? And if people don't like what they what I say, then that's fine. And if it affects my career, that's fine. You know, like I think that there's certain things, and I think that that's like the woman who was just fired from the Mandalorian. I think that she that's her attitude as well. I mean, I think when she went on Twitter, she wasn't like, oh, oh my God, I wonder what's going to happen. She's like, no, I. I, this is what I believe and I'm willing to go, I'm willing to lose my job because of this. And if that's true, then you've got to be willing to lose your job because of it, you know? Like if I, you know, my spouting off about J.K. Rowling, if that cost me a job, it's like, well, then that cost me a job. I just, I honestly think that uh, she should be more concerned with donating money to young transgender people to stop them from committing suicide. Like do that, you know, put some money into helping people to save their lives instead of going on Twitter and complaining about whether you feel safe in a bathroom or not. Oh, it's totally understandable. What she said was not acceptable in any regard. It's secret. Who knows what else she holds in secret? But, you know, I know. Twitter Twitter is, is a great tool in that regard where it gives, you know, the itchy finger the chance to type and spill it all, you know, yeah. and then karma takes its toll. <laughs> Ooh, totally.